Welcome to Wake Up TV. I'm Eric Curry. We have several stories lined up for you today. Wake County continues to preserve the area's most important landmarks while preserving history. We'll have more, plus a new addition to Wake County's parks and open space recently opened to the public. We'll share with you highlights of the grand opening. But first, for 28 years, Commissioner Betty Lou Ward has been a member of the Wake County Board of Commissioners. And during those 28 years, she has served as chair, vice chair, and has held numerous positions on both the state and national levels as a dedicated public servant. But recently, Mrs. Ward announced that she would not seek re-election next year for a position that she's held since 1988, making her one of the longest serving commissioners in, the, in Wake County and the state. Joining us to talk about her distinguished career is none other than Commissioner Betty Lou Ward. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Eric. Can you share with the viewers a little bit about yourself, your background? Well, my background, I, I actually was a nurse until my children came along. I was perfectly happy doing that. And then suddenly here are these little people that require more attention than I ever dreamed they would. And so I have two children and I stayed at home with them and uh, became a community volunteer, if you will, and enjoyed it very much. It was wonderful. What prompted you to one day say, to your family that uh, you were considering to run for a seat on the Wake County Board of Commissioners? I suppose my mother probably had as much uh, influence on me as anyone else because she was always active, involved, well into her 80s. And she lived to be 90 and uh, she only died 15 years ago and we just uh, regret that so much, but uh, she was a wonderful person and she always believed that you should give back to your community. And I strongly do believe that too. I think the wonderful opportunities I have had as a county commissioner sort of bear that out. It's been uh, fantastic. And what has prompted you to decide that uh, 28 years is long enough? Oh, <laughs> age probably. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to do some traveling. I'm ready to travel with Bill, with my husband, and uh, and have a few more opportunities to get out of town. Okay. Uh, what are some of the things you're most proud of as you look back in your career? Well, I think I am most proud of some of the opportunities that I've been given as county commissioner to be able to look at this new building that we're in. It took a long time to get this underway, it took a long time to build it, but by the same token, during the time that we had a sort of a slowdown in the economy, we opted to leave everything as it was on the ground level and left it for two years and we came back to it and I think I'm really proud of that. I'm also proud of the fact that we have, um, we have established a court system that many of the judges throughout the court system will tell you that uh, they're very happy to be in Wake County holding court. And I think that in itself is a real um, pop, pop on the back, a real congratulatory type thing for us as county commissioners. What are some of the issues uh, that you think are important for uh, the current board and future boards to, to continue to keep an eye on in this county? Well, one of the things that we have failed miserably at is uh, transportation. Durham County and Orange County have moved forward by having the people in, that, in those counties vote on uh, whether to move ahead with transportation or not. Unfortunately, I think maybe the General Assembly sort of cut off those opportunities to some extent this year, but I don't, I really don't take that as a final word. I think perhaps we'll see the opportunity there again. About a year from now will be the next election right. uh, to select your successor. What can you share with your constituents as kind of your final thoughts? as you uh, enter your last year of service? I think, Eric, I would like to say to them, there are really wonderful opportunities out here in the elected field for those of you that are interested in this. And, and for even those that have not thought about the possibility of serving as an elected official, please consider it. 
because I never really dreamed about it earlier. I was busy with the family, busy with the community, busy with a lot of things. And so once I began to think about it, I thought, well, perhaps I will be able to bring some recommendations to the board that might fly. And, uh, and I certainly have. But also, I really feel that when you're on a board of seven, such as our county commissioners, that we all represent the county. We all represent uh, each and every person in the county. And for that, I'm grateful that I was able to stick to that uh, motto all through my 28 years of service. Commissioner Betty Lou Ward, a living legend, uh, mentor to many, uh, in municipal government, not only here in Wake County, but in the state of North Carolina and the nation. Uh, on behalf of the Wake County staff and all of the constituents and citizens of Wake County, thank you for your service. Thank you. Coming up, we'll share with you how Wake County staff is preparing for the upcoming flu season. Stay tuned.